All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be checking out a pair of gaming true wireless earbuds that might actually be the best solution for everything you would use a pair of true wireless earbuds for. And the pair that we're gonna check out is the brand new Edifier GX07. Now this is a fairly expensive pair coming in at $130. Although right now on Amazon, there is a coupon deal that brings these all the way down to 85. And that basically makes these a completely different story because those are two different price tags. Uh, so we're gonna check out all of the features that these have because there are quite a few. Uh, we're gonna see what all comes in the box. We're gonna talk about the sound and see if it's worth the $85 or $130 price tag. Now, aesthetically, this looks just like a lot of the other Edifier earbuds that they've released lately, like the NB2s and the Neo Buds Pro, but it really does scream gaming. I mean, it has a DeLorean style case, you know, where the DeLorean had the doors that opened up uh, at the top, the case opens the exact same way. And of course, in typical gaming fashion, these earbuds do have RGB lighting. But when it comes to specs, usually gaming earbuds don't really have a lot that stand out, but these do use Bluetooth 5.0, but they have the LHDC Bluetooth codec playback, and that's the low latency high def codec. This is allowing to cut down on any kind of lag when it comes to gaming or movies or videos. Now this pair also works with Edifier's Connect app, and this is important for a lot of reasons, because one, it lets you control the smart sensors on these earbuds. You can tell it to just pause when you take them out of your ears and resume when you put them back in, or you can just have it pause when you take them out and it won't resume when you put them back in. Uh, so you have a few options to choose from there. It also allows you to change the touch sensitivity for controls. It allows you to change the timer. That way, if you're not playing music out of these for a little while, uh, you can have them auto shut off and that way it can kind of save on your battery life. You can also turn on and off the RGB lighting that's on the earbuds. But one thing that's confusing is it doesn't allow you to change your controls. And this is very important, which we'll talk about a little bit later when we're talking about the controls. But the app also lets you switch these into A and C mode because this pair does have active noise canceling. Now I will say that the noise canceling on this pair is nothing special. Uh, it does block out a little bit of engine noises and AC units and anything that kind of has that lower tone to it. But anything with higher frequencies like people talking talking or watching the television, all of that's gonna come through just as clear as it would any other pair of earbuds. So do not look at this pair specifically for its noise canceling. But this pair also has an ambient mode that within the app, you can switch it between different levels. So if you just wanna hear a little bit of your surroundings, uh, that way if you're out running and you need to hear cars or things like that, uh, or you can change it all the way up to like three. And that allows you to be able to carry on a conversation extremely easily. Uh, now do know that the higher that you turn the settings up, uh, that you do start to get a little bit more digital noise because the microphones are that much more sensitive. But the ambient mode on this pair works extremely well. Uh, that is definitely a standout feature. So if you're looking for a pair to also use, you know, while you're running or doing things like that, um, I highly recommend them just based off that alone. Now, like I said at the beginning, this is a gaming pair. So obviously within the app, you can switch these into gaming mode. Uh, and what this does is it brings your latency all the way down to 60 milliseconds. So if you're going to be gaming, obviously you know you want your sound to react with whatever you're doing on the screen. Uh, and this pair reacts extremely well. So I was able to watch movies and videos and play games and not experience any kind of lag. But what's interesting here is when you switch it over into gaming mode, it also also alters your audio to focus more on what gaming actually focuses on. So it pushes your mids very forward. That way you can hear gunshots and you can hear footsteps and things like that. Uh, even for movies, I felt like, you know, dialogue was so much cleaner than it is when I'm listening with other pairs of earbuds. Now, if you are looking at this pair also to use at the gym or running and things like that, it does have an IP54 rating, which means not only is it water resistant, it also has dust resistance as well. So this is also a pair that I would recommend if you're going to be using in dusty environments or if you're somebody that works on a construction site, uh, that way you don't have to really worry about these getting damaged. 
Now, as far as what they've included inside the box, they do include three sets of silicone ear tips. And I will say, although I'm not a fan of the pouch that some companies offer with their earbuds, this is probably one of the nicest pouches that I've seen uh, to carry your earbud case in. And then as far as the charging on these, uh, it does come with a USB-C cable. And one thing that's kind of surprising is there's no Qi wireless charging, especially in this price range, uh, because most other earbuds in this price range offer it. Uh, so do know you're going to have to carry around the USB-C cable to charge these. And speaking of the charging, battery life I feel like is decent. Now I do wish that the battery life was a little bit better because uh, I've kind of gotten spoiled by those pairs that have that eight plus hours of battery life. Uh, but if you decide to use these with the noise canceling turned off, you can get around six and a half hours on the earbuds and around 32 hours using the case. But if you decide to use these with the noise canceling on, you're only going to get around five hours on the earbuds and around 25 hours using the case. And on their website and on the packaging, there's nothing that mentions any kind of fast charging. So, you know, do keep in mind, it's going to take you around two to three hours to fully charge these earbuds. Now moving over to checking out the actual case and the earbuds themselves. Uh, like I said earlier, it definitely screams gaming. It has these uh, straight edges that reminds me a lot of the Cybertruck. And it does have those DeLorean style doors that open up to be able to get to the earbuds. Now you can see that there's RGB lighting on both sides. Now this is technically your notification light uh, so that you can kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. Now on the back is where your USB-C input is located. And then when you open up the doors uh, where you can get to the earbuds, this is actually a button that's located between both of the earbuds. And this is what allows you to put these in pairing mode if you wanna pair them to another device. Now, the earbuds on this pair definitely remind me of the Edifier NB2s and the Neo Buds Pro. Now, obviously they did add RGB lighting to these, and this pair also uses touch controls. And this is a huge problem for me because I absolutely hate the controls on this pair. They only allow you to play and pause. They allow you to skip your track forward, but not go backwards. They do not give you volume control, but they do give you control over your active noise canceling, uh, your music mode, and your gaming mode. So I do understand that this pair offers some other features that other earbuds don't, but for me, not having volume control and not having the ability to go back to the previous track is definitely frustrating, especially considering that this pair works with an app. It's easily something that they could have allowed you to switch around. That way you could just have control over whatever you want to have control over. Now, as far as you guys that do like to use your earbuds for phone calls, I do think because this pair is aimed at gaming, obviously the mics should be a priority. And I think they did a decent job here but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is a mic test using the GX07s. I think overall it does a very good job of picking up my voice. Uh, I do wish that maybe there was a little bit more treble that it was picking up, uh, but overall this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. So this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound, because the sound on these, they are using eight millimeter dynamic drivers. And I would actually say that I would put them between the NeoBuds Pro and the NB2s. It's kind of like this perfect middle ground uh, between both of those pairs, because I feel like one is very bright and I feel like one is really warm. So to kind of mix both of those and get a very detailed sound uh, that does have some slight warmth to it because it has pretty good bass impact, is actually a happy medium. And again, this is in music mode because I do not recommend listening to music in gaming mode. So I would say that it's slightly warm, but it does have some nice kick in the low end. I feel like the bass is definitely punchy, but you can tell that they did a really good job of keeping it tight. It's not sloppy, uh, it's not overwhelming, but it does have quite a bit of impact to it. Uh, and then the mids have a nice warm natural tone. Uh, you can tell that it's pushed just a little bit forward, but not too much. Uh, and because of the warm sound, it actually sounds really natural. It doesn't sound like it's overemphasized and it doesn't sound like it's coming through compressed or just 
having that really digital sound. And then the treble is nice and clean. Now, again, that warmth does kind of tone it down a little bit, so it's not a bright or harsh treble. I do think this is a sound signature a lot of people are gonna be happy with. And I will say that the sound stage and the sound imaging on this pair is fantastic. It, it definitely makes me feel like I'm in a much larger environment. Uh, and being able to tell where things are coming from, even if it's in music mode, uh, these were able to handle with no problem. But again, you can switch it into gaming mode uh, and you become a lot more aware of subtle sounds because the mids are being pushed a lot more forward uh, and you're able to hear a lot of things that you wouldn't necessarily hear if you were in music mode. So in my opinion, this is an excellent pair for basically all types of media. It nails not having to worry about lag. It has that really full rich sound when it comes to music, uh, but it knows that it can push the mids forward if you wanna use them for gaming and movies and things like that. Uh, but definitely understand that you're gonna be making compromises because there is no Qi wireless charging, there's no fast charging, and I'm not gonna lie, the controls on this pair is definitely frustrating. And for me, that's a big turnoff because I'm just used to being able to control everything. Or at least if I have a pair that works with an app, I would like the ability to just be able to switch it around to whatever controls I'd like to have. So if that's you know enough to keep you from buying these, I kind of understand that. But there are some very interesting things about this pair and it sounds fantastic. At its current sale price of being able to pick them up for $85, I can highly recommend these. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Edifier GX07s. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.